Welcome back to Daily Flash. I'm Andrea Jackson. Tis the season to be scammed. Using your credit and debit cards to buy gifts for loved ones could put you at a higher risk for fraud this time of year. So what's best when it comes to protecting your money and your identity? Joining us to talk about it is Jennifer Streak. She is the senior personal finance reporter for Insider. Jennifer, welcome to Daily Flash. Thank you for having me. Credit cards often come with built-in consumer protection. So how can these features offer shoppers a sense of security during the holiday season? Well, you definitely have purchase protection as well as fraud protection. If someone gets your card, they start making a lot of purchases on it, whether it's online or in person. Typically, you call your credit card issuer. They will refund those charges while they are doing their investigation into the fraudulent activity. They'll also cancel the card pretty much immediately. And with purchase protection, if you buy something and it turns out to be faulty, not as advertised, you can also call your credit card issuer and they can help you out with that as well. What about using a debit card instead of credit? Because we always get asked this, debit or credit at the checkout line. Right. A debit card is going to help you because it's basically a direct link to your cash. It really helps with budgeting and controlling your spending, which I think we're all going to need during the holiday season. Oftentimes, credit cards give you a false sense of money that you do not have. Does one have an advantage over building our credit score? Well, it depends. With your debit card, if you're paying certain monthly bills with your uh, debit card, you can ask that it be reported to the credit bureaus like your utilities or uh, your cell phone or even rent nowadays. So it does have the ability to help you with your credit score. You just have to be a little more active about it. And you mentioned this briefly. What about using the debit card to help curb the overspending? And, and does it offer the protections that a credit card does? OK, so with curbing overspending, the thing is, a debit card is a direct link to your cash. You either have it or you don't. When the cash is gone, that's it. But with, uh, in terms of credit protections or the same in your debit card, it can take a little longer. If you call your bank and you're saying there's a fraudulent charge or someone has my debit card, they'll shut it down immediately. But typically, typically your bank is going to do the investigation first before refunding your money. So it may take a little longer. But the best thing about a debit card is that it's going to help you stick to your budget. Yeah, there are a number of pros when it comes to using the debit card, but a lot of consumers like the flexibility of using credit to extend their payback time and having that extra cash in the bank for the holidays. Is this sort of a sense of false security? It is indeed. And that is why credit card debt is now over a trillion dollars. <laughs> you know, the primary way to use a credit card is to pay the balance off at the end of the month, not to extend it like a personal loan and then also pay a lot of interest on the balance. So once again, it really gives you a false sense of money that you do not have. Jennifer, I think a lot of people struggle, too, if they don't have a credit card and they're using their debit card when it comes to paying for things like hotel rooms or rental cars or flights during the travel season. You know, oftentimes they take an extra amount up front on your debit mm -hmm. card. So that limits your spending. Is there any sort of solution for this for consumers? You can use a prepaid card. You can take the cash and get a Visa or MasterCard prepaid card and put that money and it operates just like a credit card so you don't have to pay more money up front. Terrific information, Jennifer. Thank you. For more info on how to secure your financial well-being, check out Jennifer's social media feed on X at J Streaks.